Welcome back to the show. Today I have some very bittersweet news to share with you. This will be my last week hosting Living Local. After nearly 10 years as a broadcaster, I've decided to leave TV. My career started in Lubbock, Texas as a news reporter, eventually working my way up to Morning Anchor. After nearly six years in West Texas, I wanted to get closer to home in Iowa, so I accepted a morning anchor position here at WHBF-TV. I anchored our morning newscast until I was offered an opportunity to do my dream job, launch and host this lifestyle show. I've been the host and managing editor of Living Local since its inception in 2018, and it has been the absolute highlight of my career. I am beyond grateful I was able to see this longtime aspiration come to fruition. It was an honor to spotlight the people and places that make the Quad Cities a great place to do life. I'm grateful to all of my coworkers for being amazing team members. I'm thankful for all of the incredible guests on the show I was able to meet. And I'm grateful for you, our viewers, who tune in to Living Local and stay engaged with this wonderful community. It has been incredibly hard to say goodbye to a job that I love so much. So why am I leaving and where am I going? Well, as I announced on the show in January, the love of my life, Shay, asked me to marry him. We've been in a long distance relationship for the past two and a half years and as we're joining our lives together in marriage, we knew that of course that had to change. Plus, after a decade of prioritizing my career, I am ready to put my personal life first. My deepest desire and calling is to be a wife and mother and stepping away from this position will allow me the space that I need to focus on my family life in the way that I really want, and the opportunity, of course, to pursue other passions. This weekend, I'll be moving to the La Crosse, Wisconsin area to be with Shay and set down roots. I grew up in this beautiful, near this beautiful area, actually. Shay's business and family are there, and my family is only 90 minutes away, making it the perfect place for us to settle down and start a family of our own. While I'm very sad to leave this job in this community, I am beyond thrilled for this new chapter. And now I'm excited to announce that Michaela Hughes-Shaw will be the new co-host of Living Local alongside Zane Satchery. Michaela, I could not be happier to pass the baton off to you. Uh, you are so incredibly talented, and this community is so lucky to have you as the new host of Living Local. So. Tell Thank us a little you. bit about your background and what you're looking forward to the most as you start in this new position. Yes, oh gosh, I am beyond thrilled to take on this new role. I, this has also been a dream job of mine as well, so thank you so much for passing the baton to me. And I'm really excited to serve the community mm -hmm. in this way. Um, I grew up right here in the Quad Cities and I graduated from Rock Island High School mm -hmm. back in 2015 in the olden days. And I'm a recent graduate from the University of Iowa where I earned my degree in journalism mm -hmm. and mass communication. I was a COVID grad, so you know we are we are a strong bunch <laughs> um, and I have had multiple internships in TV and I've done some investigative work and um, I also love magazine writing so that's kind of where I fall in the communications realm and um, you know it was just such an honor to land a job right here at the station um, just some months ago mm -hmm. it hasn't even been a full year yet as a multimedia journalist so I started here in August of 2020 and I'm excited to really be able to give back in storytelling mm -hmm. in this way. It's such a positive and different way to do this work and I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled, like I said. And I'm also extremely passionate about just being involved in the mm -hmm. community. And I'm a former Miss Iowa, if you all don't know that already. It comes up all the time, uh, whether I want to talk about it or not. But um, I really enjoyed being able to travel across the state of Iowa and talk with kids and older people alike and get to share my story of dealing with uh, mental health mm -hmm. conditions and helping to spread some suicide prevention mm -hmm. across our state. I love playing my violin at community events usually when you see me you see Charles that's his name <laughs> and uh, I've also loved being a role model for young women with mm -hmm. Love Girls magazine it's something that I'm extremely passionate about and I wouldn't be sitting in this chair today if I wouldn't have had that organization so mm -hmm. you know and when I'm not on screen you can find me hanging out with my family right here in the QC we're all from here so there's David and Donovan those are my little big brothers Aww. they're both <laughs> way taller than me now um, I have a niece and a nephew mm. and I love being an aunt too these are my other siblings I have five siblings all together I have Thomas and Devin right there and 
my little big sister once again everybody's taller than me so but really just regardless I'm just so excited to be here be with family and to be a part of this community in this way I really have the best family there's my dog Zeno oh. <laughs> he's a 13 year old chunky boy right there but a lot to love there yes, <laughs> yes. and what's really neat is that Michaela when she was Miss Iowa you were yeah. here as a guest on Living Local I was. you were also a guest for other community organizations you've been involved with it's been so cool that I've had you on the show as a guest and now things have transpired and here you are as the new host of the show yeah. so I, I love how that has come full circle it is totally full circle we're so excited for this new this new journey yeah and Michaela and I will be hosting the show for the rest of the week yes and then it will be uh, Michaela and Zane and Brandy as well well thank you guys